In this video, we are going to use Dexter to demonstrate the placement of mandibular anterior PAs. This instrument will allow you to image from first premolar to first premolar in the mandible. As always, with Dexter to get him to open or close, simply bring the handle forward and back. Something to keep in mind when imaging the mandibular dentition in the anterior region is to make sure that the tongue is out of the way. Your patient can move their tongue for you, but with Dexter, he might need a little help with that thick rubber tongue. When placing this instrument, always go in through the front of the patient's mouth, never the side. Use your bite block to push that tongue back or move Dexter's tongue out of the way and push the bite block back till the incisal edge of the teeth of interest are resting at the end of the bite block. Never have the incisal edges resting near the film or on the film, always at the end of the bite block. This will ensure that you're parallel to the true axis of the tooth. Once you have it positioned, have the patient bite down. Look through your ring. Make sure that the teeth you want to see on the image are positioned between the outer edge of the metal bar and the outer edge of the plastic bite block. Slide your ring in about an inch from the patient's face. Look at the end of your tube with the collimator to align your cone or your square with the orientation of the phosphor plate. Have the tube nice and flush and align your notches. When placing the instrument for the first premolar canine in the mandible, Always come in from the front of the patient's mouth, never the side. Push the bite block back against the tongue and have the incisal edges resting at the end of the bite block and slide the bite block over to the first premolar canine and have the patient bite down. Again, look through your ring, checking to make sure that first premolar and canine fall from the outside of the metal bar to the outside of the blue bite block. Slide your ring in about an inch from the patient's face. Again, checking the end of your tube for the collimator to make sure your square matches up with the phosphor plate. Align your tube so it is nice and flush with your ring and make sure your notches are aligned. 